Back here on CBS Sports HQ, LSU head coach Brian Kelly at the podium. Um, you know, I told my team I, I, I was, you know, certainly uh, excited, you know, coming into the game about their preparation and the way that they um, thought about this game, uh, what they needed to do um, physically, mentally, uh, all the things that we talk about. I, I was excited about their preparation. They were ready to play. Um, you know, I, I take ownership in not getting our guys in the right position tonight, and we just did not um, make the best of the opportunities that we had. And then certainly um, – a lot of things didn't go the right way tonight with um, not being able to get off the field on third down, um, turning the ball over on offense. And it just seemed there were, at times, some, some key things in the game that um, didn't go our way. And so one of those nights where you look at it and, and it's totality, um, and look, take nothing away from Alabama. They played very well tonight as well. Um, but we're dealing with a second loss now in, in, the, uh, in the SEC. And, you know, we're, we're, we're on the uphill, um, certainly. But we've got to, as coaches, we've got to put our guys in a better position to succeed. Uh, that's the challenge that I, that I have. Um, I own that. And, uh, you know, we've got to, we've got to play um, cleaner football and we've got to get off the field, certainly. Um, those are the two big takeaways for, for, for me in terms of the game itself. Uh, and then certainly, um, you know, some of the, the, you know, untimely things that happened during the game um, that, that were critical, um, that that really, you know, put us back relative to, um, you know, the game itself, whether they were untimely penalties or, um, you know, third down conversions. Um, they all impacted the game and the, the eventual outcome. So with that, we'll open it up to questions. Kyle? Like you spent a lot of the second half talking to Blake, you know, just talking to him on the sideline, trying to figure some things out, I guess. Is that what you were doing? Were you able to come up with any answers? Yeah, again... Look, if you're watching the game, you're like, w w what did these guys do for two weeks? Like, we we have a a scheme to stop the quarterback. We did not get that done. So um, I take responsibility for it. Um, you know, Blake is not going to hide from the responsibility. But but we also have to put our, posi our players in the right position, too, to take advantage of what they're capable of doing. Um, so we, we own it together, and we've got to get it fixed, certainly, um, because it's, it's, uh, it's been a couple of weeks now, you know, in two games. So um, I, I, I respect the, the, the inquiries and the questions um, because we, we now go into these last three games with the need to win all three of these games and, and, and play better football. Uh, in the month of November. Uh, co Coach, when you're sort of talking about putting, trying to find the right way to put the guys in, put the, guys in the right spot um, to make plays, are you talking about just trying to find the right schematic fit for these guys, the right no, schematic a, answers? Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit about, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel when it comes to defending the quarterback. There's only a couple of ways to defend them, you know, and, and so... We have to be able to um, get our players that we're not trading any of them. There's no waiver wire. We're not, you know, um, bringing anybody up from, you know, the, the demo squad. We've, we've got to come up with the right answers on what works best for the guys that we have. And it hasn't worked very well these last couple of games. So we've got to go back and, and, and start all over again and look at what's the best way to defend um, in certain situations with the players that, that we currently have because they want to do it. They were ready. They were locked in. They were focused. Um, they, they, they had the right mindset coming into this game. 
Coach, how do you approach the last three weeks of the season knowing that the college football playoff is likely out of the question? Yeah, I think everybody asks the same question. We, we really, look, they're disappointed. We're, we're disappointed in the way we performed. You know, we're, we're not going, these guys are not like, hey, we're out of the playoffs. That, that's not what they're, they're disappointed, and I'm disappointed, that we didn't live up to the standards of LSU football. That affects us more than the damn playoffs. We're, we're, we're disappointed. When you put on the jersey for LSU, there's a standard of football that, that those three letters on your jersey, it's a prerequisite. And, and we didn't live up to that. That's the disappointment. Brian, you mentioned no slamming his hand on the table. But he's mad. I mean, look, you got to – look, they scheduled USC, and USC has not had a great season. But, you know, credit to LSU for scheduling that game because a lot of teams wouldn't do that. A lot of programs wouldn't do that. They just wouldn't. Your first game of the season, and look, if they if they didn't, and I, I woulda, coulda, shoulda, they'd only have two losses. They'd still, they'd still be in, in the conversation. They're not. They're not going to the playoff with three losses. It, it ain't happening. Uh, they could still finish the year, you know, nine and three. They at Florida, Vanderbilt, Oklahoma, some three quality teams left on their schedule. But yeah, they're gonna have to figure some things off. Uh, so figure, figure some things out in the off season and. Uh, get back to where the program is normally at, which is prominent, and right now that's not where they're at.